Louise, welcome to Africa, South Africa and Jonic Safaris. This is your first hunt here. So we've got lots of animals to look forward to hunting, having lots of fun together. I understand it's been quite a um, challenging time for you to get here. What, seven reschedules on your flight? We're very happy to have you here. I tell you, the whole industry is thankful to you guys that are brave and showing true adventure spirit and coming out here in tough times. So hopefully we can make it a successful hunt for you and collect lots of trophies and put them on your wall. Have fun. Often when, when, when you're hunting kudu and that, then you come across other animals. Yeah. And you've got to take your opportunity there. Yeah. Like this place park is a, a male on his own here, but he is, what do you guys say, grandissimo. I promise you. That is a very big place park, as we said. Man, oh man. Have a look at that. See how big he is? We've got these scent glands here of a male. White horns, he's just big. That's all they used to say about this thing. Beautiful, well done. Thank you. Well done, well done, well done. A good first time animal for you. So, yeah, it's like 400 yards, it's still there. I can't see him at the moment. What is that? The Nyala bull. Um, but he's still going to be a bit far to shoot now, but we need, if we can get just through this drift and out the other side, we might have a chance there. But it's thick where he is, maybe he just steps out, gives us a chance, it's worth a look. He must be uh, in this thick, thick stuff, we went in there, we're only like 200 from him now, so we're just going to have to let him step out now. The other thing was clever. It didn't want to come out that bush there. Well done. That's good. This is the Classico Nyala. El Classico. Look at that. Wow. Hey? Very nice. With these long ivory tips like that. Beautiful, eh? Yes, it is. Very good hunt, man. He died here yeah, in all the thorns and that, yeah. And he's nice and heavy. Very, very nice. Very oh. nice. Well done. Thanks.
That's a good shot. Watch that thing gonna go down. It's a good shot, my man. 550 yards, you watch, he's gonna die right there. Watch him. Really, it's a right through him. Watch, he's gonna run out of steam. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what a shot, my man. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, you can shoot this thing. Well done, that's very, really, very good. I was ready to shoot them like seven times. <laughs> what you say, they are very tough? No, but they're very tough when you don't hit them properly like that. I could see that in and I could see him pass out the back of the lungs. Really? Now the secret to that shot was that was a magnificent wind call. Thank you. That's what I'm thinking. Well done. <laughs> it's amazing how you guys can see that. But you could you could you could see he took the shot and then he ran and his tail was doing that. But you can see even when I, where I shot? Yeah, well I could see um, when he turned on the other side, so he was facing to the left. When he turned and looked to the right, I could see the blood coming out there. That's why I knew it was fine, he was going to die. You know, you won't believe it, but um, I think in the 60s, they were, they were down to a couple of hundred of these left in the, in, the, in the world. And because of conservation and mainly through hunting, they were all put on one guy's property. And from there they started breeding and then they were put in different areas of South Africa and today we can hunt them again. So this is a true hunting success story. But have a look at that magnificent animal. There's nothing like it in the world, I'm telling you. There we go, look at that. <laughs> have a look at that head. Huh? How beautiful is that? All tennis balls on the top here, big bumps. Very, very nice. You see it's got hair on its nose like a, I don't know what, it's got hair on its mane. Underneath here like a, like a lion. And hair on the mane here like a zebra and a white tail. And there's two muscles that don't belong on any animal except it's a white eyelashes. Awesome. Well done, congratulations. Thank very you. nice animal, great shot, eh? Thank you. Well done.
That's him, man. You see the big white stomach? Yeah. In Afrikaans, they call it a black white belly. Black white belly. Swat with pens. Much easier just to say Sable. Yo, he's a nice one. He's got big, big hooks up there. Look at that. Look how black he is, eh? And he's jet, he's jet black. Look at those horns, eh? Yo. How's that? Wow, beautiful. Eh? He is impressive. The prince of the antelopes, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. With the orange ears, uh, he's a fantastic animal. Look how jet black he is with the white belly. Nice big neck. He carries his weight all the way through. It's an impressive animal. Well done. Thank Good you. Day. Congratulations. You Thank deserve you. this one. You can take a shot, yes. You've got a nice shot. Squeeze one in there, into your shoulder. That's a good shot. Let's just watch. Down. Yeah, Wide shot. <laughs> Wide shot, good man. I saw him just roll there like that. It was fantastic. Thank you. Moi, moi, moi. Wonderful. Jeepers. Have a look at that, man. You can sit here. 405 yards. That's a hell of an animal. Will we put, let me shake your hand first before we do anything. This is the same bull we were hunting last night and the mist beat us and that. And we've been battling all morning. And now the mist cleared and it's actually it's a little bit windy, but fortunately we found him, he hadn't gone far. Big old bugger. Beautiful, you can see his necks just, they're just starting to get ready to run. He was walking around looking for animals, but a one-shot kill, this one will be good on your wall, I promise you. He is flipping nice. This is as good as they get, man.
Is it good? Not bad. Great shot. So finally we got a black impala for you after chasing them in the mist this morning like Scotsman um, and using the mist to get close to them when we had no success at all. Uh, we found these guys lower down than the, they were this morning, able to get a good shot, 153 off the sticks. But uh, black impala, we are, how beautiful are they? Eh? Um, one of my new favorite animals, we haven't been hunting them for many years, but the more we hunt them, the more beautiful they become. And this is an exceptional one. You can be very happy with him. Excellent, excellent. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, so we can move on. We're going up to the Karoo tomorrow, which is slightly different terrain to this. Um, got a couple of animals on the list there and new terrain and new people to meet and we'll leave early and have a good trip up. Nice room. Be ready in case he gets it. Oh, did you get a scope? It's okay. Are you okay? Yes, I am. This is beautiful, man. What a shot. <coughs> Don't do it. Look at that, man. Wow. Hey? Flip that's nice. It is. That is beautiful. It's beautiful. How thick their necks are, short little stubby nose. That's flipping impressive. Well, that, good shot. You good job. <laughs> he, he made us wait a bit for him to turn for us, but in the end we got a great one here. Very happy with him. Got the nice sweep in his horns, nice and wide. And they don't get much better than that. Big the black black, black shoulder, head. yeah. Nice thick neck, it's all you want. Nice, eh? Very nice. It's a beautiful animal. Big. Yeah, I know.
the one on the left. Hit. Okay. So, yep. Good shot. I think it's a great shot, that. Pause. Another good shot. Another good shot. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him. He's going slower, slower, slower. Damn. Off the sticks, brother. <laughs> Really? The Peruvian sniper. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That is a very good shot, that last one. Down? He's down. Heating he maybe a bit back, but hey, you need down. insurance. Well done. That's very good shooting. Three from three. The closest being 450. It's not bad. Huh? Good hunting. No Athu, aka poor man Cape Buffalo. He gave us a run for our money this morning, man. We probably shot him about, I'm not lying to you, about six, six miles from here. Came through two valleys. Eventually succumbed here on the top of this little mountain, but a very nice animal. They're very tough, notoriously that way. But uh, he shot very well. You can be proud of him. It's taken up a bit more time than we had hoped. We're hungry as hell, we're in the hot sun. But we're going for lunch now and a little wet our feet in the pool. We've enjoyed it and we've earned it. Well done, Luis. Thank you. Very well done. It's quick shooting, man. <laughs> oh, chest. I don't like the follows. <laughs> bring, give me a khaki pen, I'll change them. <laughs> that is nice. That is proper. They, they, they always look not as, um, as black as they, because they roll in the dust. Look here, there's yeah. lots of, of I dust on them. It yeah, comes up. Yeah. Very big zebra. Nice. Perfect shot, eh? Right there. Quick shooting, well done. Thank nice you, animal sir. again. Nice, nice, nice. I'm very happy with it. That was ten dollars, five and five. <laughs> well done. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, so there's a misconception that because they're so big, these animals, that they are easy to hunt. But the vastness of the Karoo um, and the amount of ground they can cover make them 
pip and tough to get. Yo, this is a very nice one. See how nice and blue it is? That's what we were looking for. You could see when we shot the stood out clearly. And up this beautiful moth, what do you call it? The Donald Trump. The Latino Donald Trump in the front there. Very nice. Nice big julep. But look at look at his colour in there. Oh, he's pretty. Beautiful horns. Oh, flip. I'm very pleased with him. This is a wonderful, wonderful trophy. Thank you so much. Put it there. Well done. Thank you. This is the story of the great waterbuck debate. Because we were hunting, then we weren't hunting, and we're actually on our way to shoot uh, springback this morning. And standing in the sun above us, yeah, this big old guy was standing. And I still thought we went then, and we said, no, 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 before I change my mind, let's hunt him quickly. <laughs> and we did, and we managed to get this. Yes, he's a wonderful trophy. I can't tell you, if the light doesn't show at all, but he's pitch black with a grey mouth and his horns and thick all the way up. So it was a good reason you changed your mind. It was a good shot. We went too far off, 150 yards, we managed to get close. And it was a quick shot. We had to act quickly. So we're still sticking to the plan, except we're going to be a bit later for the spring back, but we'll give them a go still. But well done. I'm glad you changed your mind. That's Thank a wonderful you. animal. <laughs> That's a great shot there. Yesterday. Well then, 409. Thank you. What a spring back. It's the cotton candy in there. Smell it. Well, this is the national animal from South Africa. Very good eat. You know, here has plants like smells like cotton candy and the hair goes up. Correct? Correct, that's very good. And who says that? Everybody. <laughs> not the main person you got to say his name. Sticks. <laughs> no, it's not Sticks. No?
Excuse me so slowly. Just go and see him. He'll be behind the bush. Uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the giraffe? Yeah. He's just on the left of him there. Yeah, now I see the neck. Okay, let me just, just, uh, just dial this thing. Oh, let's see. Uh, let me just check the range. Wait, wait. It's good. The head up, right? Okay, he's just on the left of the giraffe. Yeah, I see it. It's the spacing. Can you go a little bit more? Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. He's got his head down. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, he's under the giraffe. That's him. He's going the other way. That's it. Just watch. There's a stump in, There's a stick in front of you there. Don't shoot now, Luis. I think there's a stick in the way. Just wait till he clears that branch. Yeah, I know. How's he look now through that gap? Excellent. Turning broadside? Yeah. Make a nice squeeze. Hit. Oh, it's hitting good. Well done. Good Bump. shot, good shot. He's going to go down. He's hit perfectly. And see the, the blood coming out the other side, Charlotte? Oh. That's how you shoot him, Paula. Behind the front leg of the giraffe, in front of the back leg of the giraffe. Underneath. <laughs> well done, that's Thank a little Paula. <laughs> Let's go have a look there. So, the difficulty when you stalk these, when they're with giraffe, is that even if you hide behind the low shrub, the giraffe are looking over at you. And so that's why they got a wingelli to shoot in between the giraffe's legs. But fortunately, he stepped out of it. But this is a, a propriaro in Bala. Yo. You see what I was telling you? It's brother of the black one. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Look at that shape there. Yo, they're beautiful animals, eh? A little bit of a dark nose, which makes it nice, nice thick horns. Perfect shot. Absolutely perfect. Well done, Luis. Very nice. Thank you. This with your black Impala will be very nice together. You've got a matching set. Yes, sir.
So we've been scouting at Woodlands for bushbuck and hunting them for what, three days now? Three eh? days already. But a bit of bad luck, there's been a lot of early morning mist and it's been getting severely hot in the daytime. But uh, we had to come do your COVID test so you can get home um, in two days time. So we were in Grahamstown already, so I thought we'll just come down to the coast. It's about 25 minutes further down the, down the road. Um, Colin here, we're on his property and he was able to scout all morning for us, found a very nice ram. And he kept on letting us know how it's going and we kept on saying we're coming as quick as we can. And eventually we got here, everything was perfect, got to 235 yards. So that's why we changed the options. We had a, a I think, go for a COVID test. We were hunting in the, um, at Woodlands and we decided to come to the coast to have a look. And before we could even get ready, Colin here spotted a good ram. We got on him, 235. Killed him in one shot, eh? Thank you. Well done. Thank you very much. Yo, Luis. Yeah. Very nice. Very yep. nice one. Um, have a look at this here. This is very unique, this ivory on the front of the horns up there. That they clear, it's lighter. Yeah, it's, it's very unique. Why? I don't know, they he's probably just rubbed it a bit or something. Perfect shot there. That was a perfect shot. Yeah. Beautiful animal. Yes, sir. Well done again. Yeah. That's your spiral slam completed. Yes, well done, Dropsy. Yeah. Turns out to be quite a busy but very successful day, ending with this magnificent bull. We've been down to the coast, we've been back again, we've dropped off animal at the lodge to be finished off skinning, and we saw this coming back and we thought it had given us the slip, but you know, just at last light he started to move again. Fortunately, we were in a good position, snuck in close. It was 80 yards, 83 yards, I think, so one of our yeah. closest shots, but Certainly one of the better animals. Another magnificent kudu. Nice white tips and that. It's been a hell of a hunt. Well done, man. You Thank shot you, very well too. It's been Thank a pleasure you. hunting with you.